was enough. I ain't care fucking hit it till you got to do it. I'm done. Calm down, Nixon. <laughs> kick out of the White House. Did you Chris fucking kick Richard Nixon out of the White House last night? She said, sorry. sorry. Okay. The haters hate me. I pass the... I'm rolling, rolling on my segway. The haters hate me. I say good. I'm rolling, 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 rolling. It's rolling, rolling at the end. You don't say rolling on a segway at the end. You guys got that part? It's tricky. Everyone else fucks it up. I have faith in you, San Francisco. I think you can do it. When you're waving by, when you're waving by this. The haters hate me. I say goodbye. Hey! Everyone try that. Wave at me. And fuck you guys. Okay, good job. Are you ready? Yeah! Did you have a good time? Yeah! Woo! Ow! Woo! Don't mess with the last white bag. Got the rock, you'll double F, J, Brad, play with the rock, Brad. Go on, go on, go on, go the R in the shop, Brad. Put the tree top down in the cell box. See, I like the ring on with it, cause I do not battle by side. Put the man, I got the mind, and I collect the top side. Leave it on the lawn, see, it's got my lips flowing like the baby, but with the game that was popping with the moon. because he knows I'm about to talk about it. Give it up for Chad, my brody! Yeah. He's so tired of this fucking part of the show and people look at him. Chad has been my friend 
for over 15 years. He's my friend from back in the punk rock days when I used to pour a fucking pint of beer on his head and be like, we're friends now. He's still my friend. And I think you're still my friend after this tour, aren't you, Chad? You're still my friend. Uh, that's amazing, because he's really experienced all the nitty gritty stuff. All the nooks and crannies of this fucking English muffin. And let me just tell you, I couldn't be more appreciative of everything you did for me this tour. Not only did you sell the merch and carry all the pins and all that stuff, but you just made me feel good about being MC Chris. You always justified my actions. You made me feel less crazy about what happens every day. So you're like, Chris, that was fucking crazy. Yes, it makes sense that you would get pissed off if someone's being fucking crazy like that. And it helps me. It heals me. And I appreciate that so much. You're a great friend. I'll always be thankful of this tour. Because you taught me more than I ever have learned on any other tour I've been on. And I needed to hear a lot of that stuff. It's repowered me or recharged my batteries. It makes me feel like I can do this for much longer than I thought I could. Thank you, Chad. And you guys, I'm going to talk to you like you were everybody that came to the show this tour. Thank you so much for being an FC Chris fan. You guys have been my fan for a long fucking time. To those new fans, thank you for giving me a chance. You have a lot of work to do. I'm not done being FC Chris. There's a brand new FC Chris album coming out this year. Meg Ryan and FC Lars and I are talking about doing a fall tour together. Would you guys come back and see us if you came out again? Thank you so much for all the love and support you've shown me. Thank you for staying my fan, enjoying the music, and making me feel like a worthwhile person. It's one of the greatest gifts I could ask for. Thank you for giving it to me. I'll always be extremely appreciative. Thank you. Thank you. You know, when I wrote a lot of these songs, I wrote them to entertain myself, and I didn't think there was anybody like me, but I've learned that there's a lot of people like me, and that we're all like each other, really. And uh, it's a good feeling. I don't feel so lonely. If you came to the show alone tonight or you remember what it's like to be alone, uh, then I think this is a good feeling we have right now at this exact moment because we're all together. We're all buddies. We're all having a good time. It's a good feeling. So thank you for being a part of it. The reason I'm out here now in March or was it fucking April? Is it April? It's April. The reason why I'm out here in April and not in the fall when I would usually come see you is like I said before on the show, my wife and I had a baby. He is gonna be a one year he's gonna be one years old in a couple of days. So I'm gonna get home just in time to celebrate his first birthday, which is very exciting. So please, you know, like what I do now is my wife and my baby could take care of themselves. They didn't need me as much, so I went on tour and I got to support my family. Thank you for helping me support my family. I mean that. I'm trying to make as much money as I possibly can to buy my baby applesauce. He likes applesauce. He puts it in his mouth, puts it on his body, he fucking slides all over the apartment like a pinball. It's fucking hilarious. You guys want to see a picture of him? His name is not Hesh or Neville. His name is Anthony, and named him after my father who passed away and kind of inspired his creation. Because I felt like immortal all of a sudden, you know? My dad died and I felt like, oh, I'm not here forever. And then I put my penis in somebody. Uh, so. I did it, that's why we're all here. Check it out, look at what I did. This is the only hip-hop show where you only see a, a portion of the crowd scream out, The baby picture's gone! Look at that! It's gone! <laughs> it's so black. Oh, oh, it's a, oh sorry. <laughs> <laughs> see how he's dressed up like R2-D2? Hell yeah! That's why you have a kid, right? Hell yeah! I can dress up like R2D2 and then I sit him down and I say, We don't serve your car! <laughs> so, this next song is about Boba Fett. Here's how, 
here's how the end of the show is going to work. I'm going to rap about Boba Fett. There's not going to be an encore. And we're going to meet over there at the merch table. You guys are going to make a single file line. I'm going to give my autographs and photographs to anybody that wants one. And I won't leave until everyone's taken care of. Do not crowd around the table. You make a single file line. We will take care of everybody as fast as we possibly can. I recommend that you turn on the flash on your camera. I recommend that you turn the flash on your camera. We'll all get out of here a half hour sooner if you turn the flash on your camera right now. Done. Secondly, we have a bucket on the table. We are raising money to fight cystic fibrosis. My nephew has a disease called cystic fibrosis, and he's eight years old now. In the eight years he's been alive, we've raised over $150,000, my fans and I. And we've given up under the Cystic Fibrosis Foundation. My nephew is now on a brand new experimental drug that we helped finance the research for and make some noise. Our good actions resulted in someone having better care. That's good news. I'm never going to stop raising money for CF. Here's the bad news. Okay, where were we? Eugene? Okay, we were in Eugene two nights ago. Sadly, Eugene, Oregon, did not put any money in the bucket. Fuck Eugene! Everybody say, fuck Oregon! Fuck Oregon! Best way to fuck Oregon is to drop a dollar in the bucket at my merch table. Please drop a dollar in the bucket and support my charity if you can. Can you do that for me? Yeah! Say, I will help you! I will help you! And I hope you come on over at the merch table so I can give you a hug or a handshake and say thank you for coming to my show because I am so thankful. I can't wait to make new music for you. I've never been more inspired. I can't wait to make more shit for you. Thank you for being an MC Chris fan. This next song is about Boba Fett. Peace and good night. Yeah. 
Without living in power, but I said now my eyes come on time when I was like, too wet. Thank you so much for coming to my show. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you guys next fall. Be safe, get home. See you over at the Mercy. Peace and good night.